How's everyone doing? Just want to do my ride real quick. Going to first tell you what I'm riding, then we're going to go over it all. Riding an 8125 Crooked deck, some Thunder 149.2s, some Spitfire Formula 4 wheels with Bones Super Swiss 6 bearings inside, Mob Grip, Diamond Hardware, and some No Name Risers. Let's do this. Alright, first up is the deck. It is a crooked price point deck. It's an 8125. I got it from Zoomies. Whatever, I know. This deck is fucking amazing. Love the concave on it. Love the, the nose, the tail, the pop, everything. High quality. This board feels so fucking good. It's amazing. I love it. Their only downside of this board is that paint is kind of cheap. I've barely been doing nose slides because I had a, a hurt right foot for a while. This is from the very little I have done. That's not even nose slides. I mean, you can see me pick off some of the paint. It's really not good paint. But for 40 bucks instead of 50 or 60 and already a fucking amazing board, who cares? Going on to trucks, these are Thunder 149.2s, the new ones. These are just a basic model, no no haul kingpin or axle or anything like that. I've been riding independent trucks since 1998. I fucking love these things. This is my second pair of Thunders ever, and I have absolutely no complaints about them whatsoever. They're light. They turn great. I'm riding Bones soft bushings in there, and I'm still able to turn and keep a solid ride. These are fucking amazing. I only skate at skate parks really, maybe in front of my house or something. I really don't skate street anymore. And so them grinding on the metal to metal, I'm amazed by them. It's such a smooth grind. And these things are not low like the other, you know, like the regular Thunders were. In fact, they're the same height as my Indy Costins. And they're fucking amazing. I love them. And I'm really, really utterly impressed by them. Wheels, I'm riding the Spitfire Formula 4s. These are the 54mm 99A wheels. And these might be the best wheels I've ever ridden. I decided to try these because I do skate mostly skate parks, except for my house, of course. And... Oh my god, these are fucking amazing. If you're on the fence about getting them, you're kind of like, I don't know if I should or shouldn't. Just try them. They're fucking amazing. Inside there, Bones Super Swiss 6 bearings. I went all out. The only downside of those is the price. I got them cheap at like $48. I had been riding the Bones Super Reds for a while, and they were very good, don't get me wrong. And if, if, if that's what you're able to afford, I'm not knocking them. They're pretty fucking good, actually. These bearings in here blow the fucking Super Reds out of the water. These are so fast, so smooth. I finally got into that broken point where they're a little bit noisy, but not so much because I do maintain them, I do lube them, do take care of them. I finally got to that point, and I'm utterly amazed by them. They're faster than the white box, and I, wow. I know the price is a little bit scary. I mean, I think you get like two sets of, of, the, of the Super Reds for the price of one set of these, and I know that's, that's not something to just kind of go, you know. I understand it's a little bit much, but they're fucking amazing. Still riding the old shock pads I got from the local skate shop. Grip tape, I'm riding Mob. I've tried other brands and they all suck. I know Mob tears up your shoes a little bit quicker, but I'm since I only skate skate parks, I get that nasty filmy shit on my board and that nasty dust and it's still grippy. Hardware, you won't really believe this, but I actually have three different sets of diamond hardware in there that I just kind of put them together, mixed and matched. That's why I've got the two of the, of the you know, shiny bolts up top, why I've got the blue nuts or turquoise, whatever color it is. 
but honestly speaking, I'm such a huge fan of their hardware, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm not a fan of their grip tape. I think their grip tape is straight shit. It's not grippy, it's overpriced, but their hardware is something I love. I love their hardware so much. All in all, that is my setup. Thanks for watching. I think this is pretty much the perfect setup for me. The width, the, the length, the size, everything, the trucks, the wheels, bearings, everything. This is such a good setup. I am honestly very, very happy with it. And I'm going to ride it till this fucker breaks, and I'll probably get another one. Thanks for watching. Till next time, bye. Take care now, y'all. Yes. Yeah.